I just had a question from a friend actually asking, can the way you sleep cause wrinkles on your face? You know, if you sleep on your stomach, your side, does that cause more wrinkles? And there's people out there that talk about that. What do you think, Bruce? Yeah, there's been a little in the news about that. And, and I think it's probably, in my opinion, a bit misguided. Um, you know, we get wrinkles for a variety of reasons. And clearly, as we get older, our skin changes. Uh, some of it's genetic, some of it's sun damage. And then also, just the effect of aging is going to diminish our elasticity. So when we smile, when we frown, that's why Botox works, right? We paralyze those muscles so we don't make the creases. Well, when you lay on your side and your skin quality goes down, yeah, you might see a fold. I don't think that laying on the side is necessarily creating the problem. You know, unfortunately, by the time you see those wrinkles, the issue has already occurred. You get 70% of your sun exposure before you're 17, and so the process of losing collagen and elastic fibers has uh, really brought itself to fruition when you finally see the symptom of those wrinkles. Um, I think it's true that when you have chronic uh, folding of that skin, just like you put out with the action of the muscle, that you're gonna get more wrinkles, and we see that all the time. One side is more wrinkled than the other. So changing your pillow, changing the way you sleep is really not what it's about, but can you improve the elasticity and the collagen content of yeah. your skin? Well, it's possible, you know, good there, skin care. There's the care. fundamental problem. Yeah, sun, you know, reducing your sun exposure is helpful, and a lot of the new resurfacing uh, type of lasers and uh, peels and those types of things could certainly help also. Not about the sleep. Right, exactly. I would agree with that. What about volume too? Sure, in of course. Terms of that, because we get a deflation effect as we lose volume in our faces. That's a fundamental part of aging. And so, when it's underfilled, if you will, that laxity is going to show itself. So, if they have sun damage, what are the options that that you discuss with them? You're in Florida, Cliff, so you see a lot of those people. Uh, sun damage. It's all about sun damage. You know. First and foremost, stop the sun damage. So using a sunscreen on a daily basis, go to a spray tan instead of having a tanning bed or a chronic sun exposure. From there, intelligent skincare products, they could help. And then more invasive treatments, you know, from a superficial peel to more invasive laser treatments. And, you know, ultimately, sometimes things get so wrinkled that the pleats actually need to be removed. And that's, of course, what a facelift does. And of course, Bruce, you made the great point of volume. Without improving the volume to the area, you just can't really make much improvement. Well, and another thing along the, the lines of improving quality, when we use fat, to restore volume, we're also transferring stem cells. And I, we've all seen that it's really almost kind of magical sometimes, the quality improvement. So some of it's from restoring volume, but also you get a stem cell kick, if you will. That's great information. You can see more of this on the plasticsurgerychannel.com.